Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. On this video, I will show you how to fly quick approaches using the new Flight Sim Studio Embraer 175. It's an early release, but FSI Panel is already compatible with that aircraft. So let me show you how you can fly quick approaches on that beautiful aircraft. I just loaded the aircraft in Geneva. Today we have a stormy condition with some snow. As you can see, I just loaded the aircraft in Geneva. I will not touch anything in the cockpit. It is exactly as it is when you start the aircraft on a runway and this is what you need to make sure. You should have your engines running, IRS aligned, so basically ready for departure just like this. And now we will use FSI panel to set an approach. So let me start FSI panel. Here we go, FSI panel has been started. As you can see, we are in Geneva on the Flight Sim Studio E175 and on runway 22, what I will do is a short final to show you how easy that could be. Short final is selected and here we will keep flaps five for the approach and I will click on move aircraft. When you click on move aircraft, everything will start. So remember that you should not touch anything until FSI panel give you the control. So let me click on move aircraft and see what happened on the E175. Here we are, my control preparing your aircraft. The first thing you will see is the flaps moving to five. So nothing to do here. Just wait, you can see that we are on FMS source, that the auto brake is off. We don't have any modes set there and we will see what happened as soon as the flaps are five. Here we go, we go in the air. And now FSI panel is setting, as you can see, your autopilot modes. Descending to our 2,400 feet, we have the nav setting done with the correct ILS course and frequencies as well on the first officer side. We have the auto brake to low and I can go map here. All right. And the lights have been set as required. And basically the only thing you have to do now is wait until the aircraft reach 2,400 feet, which will be right now in a couple of seconds. The approach speed has been taken from the uh, FCOM, so this is the correct approach speed for the weight. And now that we are reaching 2400 feet, FSI panel will give us the control. So what you can see is that we are not moving, we are in a position freeze. So it's easy now to set up your cockpit as you like, set your minima, uh, program your MCDU, whatever you want, and whenever you're ready to fly, as it is now, you can see the message there. Hold your brake for three seconds to take control. Now, the only thing I have to do is hold my brake three seconds. One, two, and three. And now I have the control. I can arm the approach. And that's it. You can see localizer is captured. Glad slope is alive. And we are going down for the landing. So I'll see you for the landing. And I will show you the after landing flow. Here we go, runway's in sight. Let's take autopilot off. And let's try to land that aircraft on the center line. It's a bit windy. All right, landing and Reversers, they are not coming. All right, let's stop just out of the runway and I will show you the after landing flow. So basically now you just landed your aircraft and you can use FSI panel to do the after landing flow for you so that you can taxi your airplane safely without having to look on the overhead panel or anywhere else. So basically to start the after landing flow, the only thing you have to do is to retract one notch of flaps so that we'll do that just now hitting f6 key and now you can hear my first officer fsi panel is in fact doing everything switching off the landing light taxi lights on strobe lights off the flaps should be moving up yes and basically now you can taxi your airplane safely to the gate should you wish to do another approach from there you can set your trim again back to uh, the green band. If you forget to do that, FSI panel will remind you, no worries about that. 
let me show you something. Let's say you'd like to fly an arrival in Zurich, for example, or in Geneva, as we are in Geneva. So I will bring FSI panel and I will show you how you can do that. All right, we're in FSI panel. We got a landing report as well for that landing. Let me show you this landing report. We were a bit long and a bit left. And this is the tracking. We saw that when we came visual, we were slightly right of center line. This is correct. So this is the landing report that you can save as well if you want for your own record. All right, now if we want to fly from a star position, for example, you can go to select fix, select a star. And in Geneva, we have, let's say, the Banco 3 Romeo, which is coming over the Alps. And we can go over position Goleb. The good altitude over there is probably 160. Otherwise, you might hit a mountain over there. And when you're happy with that, just click validate. So we're going to be on heading 302, five miles approaching position Goleb for the Banco 3 Romeo. So if I validate this and I click move aircraft, now FSI panel will retract the flaps. It's already there and will put us in the air at flight level 160. As always, do not touch anything when FSI panel is doing this. You can see that the modes have been set for you. The aircraft is going down toward 160 and auto brake has been set and we can set now our MCDU. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, so we will be in position freeze. So there is no rush at all. We are not moving forward. We are just going down toward our cruising altitude. And now what you can do is just program your MCDU. So if we go to a flight plan, route, then I could choose my arrival in Geneva. All right, Geneva. And then if I go arrival, runway 22 and ILS, and the star is the Banco 2 Romeo, Banco 3 Romeo, there it is. Apply. And there we had the first point that we were flying to was uh, Goleb, which is right in front of us. So if I look on my screen, I can see that I have Goleb right in front, five miles in front of me. So this is exactly uh, what we wanted to do. And from there, you can start flying your complete arrival into uh, Geneva. So that's how to use FSI panel with the F FSS Flight Sim Studio E175. Easy to do. The aircraft is still on early uh, access, early release. She's flyable. Here, of course, you will go to uh, NavSource FMS to have a direct Goleb. I will have to put direct Goleb again. You, this uh, Schul Center, we'll see if it works. And then from there, I will be able to fly my arrival. So if I take Goleb and it should center, it doesn't center, but let's see when I, in a, if I go nav, if that works, I will just wait for the 16,000 and I will take the control. Okay, let's take the control. As you can see, we are five miles exactly from Goleb and I will try to arm nav and see if that works. We have a L nav and now it's perfectly centered and the aircraft is going for the arrival in Geneva. So we were able to set up, you see, an arrival with a FSI panel within a few seconds and to train the Flight Sim Studio E175. Okay, guys, I hope you liked that video. If you have any question or comment, please drop it below. I will be very pleased to answer. As always, stay safe and safe landings. See you next time. Bye-bye.